Tabitha and I'm here for what? Stay tuned. So my name is Clarissa, but others know me as Vintage Dorissa and I blog. I have my own um, content on there. I post like my my style, what I'm into, and I'm also part of a collective. And we basically do content for brands, we do our own content and we cover photography, film, music and um, everything creative basically. We're all female collective and I'm also a stylist freelance, so that's fun. And I'm, I do freelance work with ASOS as well. It was before university actually. I ended um, secondary school and I was like, I want to do something different because I went to an all-girls school and I was just sick of like the same kind of stuff, the same kind of trends. So then I started getting into like thrifting, like vintage shopping. And that's what really like got me into old school like um, sportswear brands like vintage Nike, vintage Adidas, Tommy Hilfiger and stuff like that. Then when I went to college I studied art, um, photography and media. So I kind of just, when I was at college I kind of learned Photoshop, how to take pictures, how to film and that sparked my interest in blogging because I take my own pictures um, and my own like visuals as well like graphics. So it started before uni and then when I went to uni it just developed like my skill in just um, creative direction as well. So it was way before um, I just saw other people doing it that were older than me and I felt like I could do it as well. I didn't think age was anything like I didn't think it was much of a problem. So yeah. So as I said before I was really into like thrifting and vintage shopping. So I kind of put like vintage and then doll. When I was younger I kind of looked like a little doll. <laughs> yeah. Well I don't look like a doll now. Oh okay. Well I guess it still applies. And Rissa is short for my full name which is Clarissa. So I still like it but I shorten it to VDR because it's more, it's just easier I guess. But you know those names that you can't really change because it's stuck with you for so long like Tiny Temper. Chipmunk, his name right now is a bit, mm, but it still means something. So, yeah. Um, I think it just it just goes with how like fashion is recycled. Like things always come back at the end of the day. So I think they're just playing on that. And um, when a piece is vintage, it just means it's timeless. So there's more value in it, I guess. So I think that's why brands are like steering towards that. But I'm not only interested in like vintage, I like sportswear as well um, because I'm not like a full girly girl. I like to switch it up and be baggy and be slouchy but still put my own like twist on it. I think it's with my experience because I did um, study media. We were just forced to pick up a camera and I studied photography for a little bit. So that's where the confidence came from. But I think even if I didn't study that, I would still like force myself because I still teach myself stuff like today like online I've taught myself how to use InDesign like you should never stop learning as a female as well um, it, you, you're just so much more powerful if you can do everything yourself just be self-sufficient so um, and it was partly because no one was taking my pictures for me I don't have siblings and my mum works like every day so what better way to do it yourself so I have my tripod I set it up in my normal spot and I just take my pictures yeah so uh, two of the girls did an exhibition together and they called it In Bloom because um, the imagery was based around flowers and we just ran with it, literally. And everything that is associated with a flower, like growing, obviously blooming, growing, getting better, um, getting its colour, um, that's what we associate it with. It's not just like visually flowers, it's what comes with it as well. Yeah. Um, keep consistent, try to put as much personality in what you post because yes everyone likes a clean cut photo but if you're someone that wants to be a blogger for example it's about you, it's coming from you so people need to know who you are so they know that it's real I guess. Um, so be consistent, have great photos and show your personality through what you do so even if like you take two photos, break up with a video that's just you being silly or something. I think that's important. 
at the same time. Yeah, so I started my blog and then I kind of just, I made my social media based around my blog. So like the logo, the name, and what I post as well. Because I was a bit shy, like talking like in front of a camera. Now I'm a bit comfortable because I've done like interviews and similar stuff like this. And also I think um, it was more time consuming because I study to edit, to, um, to film, and then if stuff goes wrong, I have to do it again. I just didn't have that type of time. But now it's something that I'm considering because it's nice to have like a blog and a YouTube go hand in hand. Hopefully like by the time I graduate, I'd have enough time to really like push a YouTube channel because it would be nice for people to see me like in video form, I guess, and not just pictures. And then, okay, so for myself, my aim is to basically motivate other girls to just be their own boss. I think having my mum, who's a single mother, like I've seen her do everything for herself and she's literally like a boss. So I want to follow in that footsteps and show other young girls that you don't need to rely on other people. You don't need to do certain things to get attention and just um, devalue yourself as a woman. I really want to show girls that um, education is power, educate yourself, um, learn new skills so no one can take anything from you. Like the fact that I've done everything myself, no one can say otherwise and no one can, you know, take anything from me because it's all been from myself. So my main goal is to motivate girls and help girls maybe like in the future, um, help girls to develop their own brands, help girls to develop their own businesses and just to create a place where girls feel that they can go for help as well. But for In Bloom, our overall game, game. <laughs> our overall aim is to inspire, to create to inspire. So we don't want to create things that are just nice to look at. We want to create things that um, make you think, that are for, what is, it, what is the saying? Thought provoking, that's it. Um, that make people go out and want to do something with their life when they see a video, they hear a mix, they see a photo shoot they come to one of our events, all of these things that they experience from us, we want people to change the negatives in their life and inspire them to do more better. Black, black and white? Yeah, I'll do black and white. Okay, cool. Yeah. So they reached out to me because they were doing a new scheme which is called Student Insider. So you know how there's like the normal insider, they wanted to do it just for students because um, they understood that a lot of their customers were younger people who were studying. So I basically do articles to help young people um, with fashion, whether it's for interviews, for their first job, and also I do articles not only on fashion, but on career, on music, on traveling, traveling as a student. So it's, it's um, it's great for me as well because I'm learning new things, how to work with such a big company like ASOS. But it's also helpful because people who follow my blog are younger girls who are at school as well. So it's a win-win on both sides really. Bike, Fila, Liberty, Urban Outfitters, Nylon Magazine. I've worked with Wonderland. I've worked with um, Yubel is an app, quite a big app. I've worked with Suitcase Magazine. And I've also worked with Who or What, obviously ASOS. And, um, oh, I've worked with Spotify as well. Um, that's all I can remember off, my, off the top of my my blog, and some of them were with In Bloom as well. Short term goals. Obviously, graduate. <laughs> because as much as I have so much going on outside of uni, it's still a big priority. Um, but short term, just carry on doing what I'm doing, learn more stuff. I want to go into like really having my own brand as well, not only just online content. I want to have something that people can feel a part of, whether it's like a magazine, event, clothing, yeah. In years, I want to have multiple businesses. I want to work with so many young people and work with many more brands that are um, um, self-built. I really want to um, emphasise on young people building like their own brands for themselves. I see myself um, really successful in terms of finances as well because a girl that I eat and um, also 
at a place where I can literally give my mum everything. So, yeah.